starting out at deer in this morning. Um, I just got about 10 inches of snow yesterday. Stopped last night, so it was a uh, fluffy ride over till I met the groomer, and then so I got it back on the local trail over to Deering here. Uh, get pretty covered in powdery snow, so <clears throat> and the wind's blowing a little harder than the uh, forecast said. So newsflash: weatherman screws up forecast. But um, so we'll see what happens here. If I get a decent salmon, I may shoot right over to East Grand and try for a tow the rest of the day. Um, hopefully the wind lays down a little bit. I want to do some jigging, but it's uh, pretty miserable out in the middle part of the lake there. So uh, one other guy kind of followed me out here, and uh, he's fishing oh, kind of close to me, but not too close. So we'll see if anybody gets some action today. out of the wind there it's brutal out in the main part of the lake but you got a beauty of a brook trout 14 inch fat one would be good eating <laughs> of course I'm way down the end of the lake where the wind's blowing but um, I look at Google Earth uh, look at the lake you know open water and uh, I wanted to fish this rock pile right here so um, I got one that's, I caught this in maybe five feet of water and then it, it drops off and I get, uh, you know, the rest of them out in the deeper water hoping for a salmon, but I don't know if I'm going to make it over to Grand today or not, if the wind lays down some or if I think I can get out of the wind over there, I might, but right now it's pretty cold. They, uh, they screwed up the forecast pretty good today. <laughs>
rock piles turning out pretty good. So we've got 19 inch male salmon here. Nice hook draw on him. 14 inch brook trout. It's 9 o'clock here on Deer and Lake. Call me crazy, but I'm going to pack up and head over to Grand and drop some uh, shiners down on bottom and go for the trifecta. Maybe catch togue and a, or a cusk. <clears throat> See if we can't make it a real good day. I'm fishing anywhere between 60 to 100 feet of water. Right now, I'm, I get everything just a foot or two off bottom. We'll see how that goes. feet of water I'm about 200 yards from the Canadian border <laughs> if you can see on the phone there it's breezy out here I'll give you a view around I'll point you over the Canadian side right now there's a group of guys over there they're definitely Canadians. They're all driving trucks. <laughs> type of car that is. They're motoring. Looks like they come all the way down from Butterfield Landing. This is my fifth time on Grand now. I've yet to pull a fish through the ice this year. You know what they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me five times, now it's personal. <laughs> I'll waste a whole bunch of time here just to catch one fish. <laughs> Oh, 
I know there's big ones in here. broke the curse at East Grand I hope anyways it wasn't big this cusk they're funny looking fish that's for sure but it's four o'clock so started out at Deering this morning and probably should have stayed there the action was pretty good but took I took my chances and come over here hoping for a togue um, but I'll get one one of these times you know, it gets personal after a while. It's this lake's been tough on me this year, but I'll uh, I'll get a decent fish out of it. Well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna head back to Haynesville and get myself something to eat. Thanks for watching.